Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. Trump, abortion, and conservative outrage. So Donald Trump, he was a few days ago, he was uh, interviewed on the topic of uh, uh, where does he stand on a federal ban on abortion. And there's a GMCU con passing by. He was asked where he where he where he would stand um, if a federal ban on abortion were to come across his desk. Uh, now Trump's on the campaign trail, and he made a he made a statement that uh, I won't say I won't you know say verbatim what he said, but basically it's he would make he could make a deal that would that would satisfy both sides um, that would both that you know both sides would uh, walk away happy for him, and that lit up a lot of that, that got. I got a lot of conservative commentators pissed off. I know Matt Walsh was one of them. Uh, you know, he he voiced he voiced his concern about uh, Trump taking a moderate moderate approach to the to this issue of um, to the issue of abortion. And I was also watching the the black conservative um, black conservative mindset. He was I think was, I hope I'm saying his channel right, but I watch the channel all the time. I watch, the, I watch the videos all the time. And he was saying how there was actually it was actually the, it was actually the right thing to do for a, for the long haul for a for a long term win because if Trump came out strong against abortion on a federal level <laughs> and he made, he made a great point about this it would actually energize hoes to go to the polls now hoes are going to be mad at Trump no matter what he does. But the best thing you the best thing you want your opponent the best thing you want to happen to your opponent is for them to remain demoralized and helpless. If they feel as though they're being backed into a corner, they may take they may actually they may go all, they may uh, organize the numbers and go to the, you know and go go to the polls essentially to vote against him. The best thing you can the best thing that the best thing you can hope for is that either they vote for Trump or they stay home. You know, be you know, stay, stay. You know, they can be mad all they want as long as they stay home and don't go vote. That's the best. That's the best outcome. But if he came out strong in supporting a federal ban, it would actually energize the whole base to come out to the polls, to hop off one poll and go to the polls, and cast a vote against you know against the GOP, which could uh, which could lead to. Lead to you know Democrats taking take, taking full control of the federal government and potentially leading to a reversal of Roe v. Wade, and which is which is a great argument actually. You know I think is again I think if you have if you have an enemy that is demoralized, you want, to, you, want to, you want to leave them demoralized and helpless. You don't want them to get you don't want them to get the idea that they actually stand a chance of fighting back. Uh, but this is this is this is where I stand. Obviously, I don't support abortion at all in all instances. I think it's better left up to the states to have their own individual laws because it's well, constitutionally speaking, it's it is a it, it would be a state matter. It's not something that should be it's not something that should be decided up to by the federal government. Um, again, if if it, if, it, if, it, if it were to be made a federal matter. Those who do support abortion are going to come out in mass and you know let their voice be heard, you know, you know through their vote, which we which we don't want that in the long run. It's better left off to be a state matter so that all those who do support it, they can go to the, they can go to they can go to those states and kill their kids. And it's, it's unfortunate, and I feel the same. But the way I feel about abortion is the same way I feel about murder, which I'm, I'm repeating myself. I don't want it to happen. But if it's gonna, but if but if any law is gonna be, where there gonna be any laws against it, let it be done at the state level, where there could be there could be greater local control over this over that kind of over those uh, over that matter, rather than having a blanket, you know, federal ban. Now the only way a federal ban would work, which obviously I would support a federal ban, I would I would, I would support a ban overall, not necessarily a federal ban, but just I would I would support the practice not done in the first place. But the only way that could be done. Is if hoes didn't vote. If hoes didn't vote, then a federal ban could possibly work. But since hoes like to vote, um, you know, they essentially status at this point. It's best left off to the it's best left to the individual states to have their own individual laws, and for the the mon for the monstrous practice to be controlled in that way. 
And but again, I, I'm just, I'm just, I basically I'm using a constitutional argument um, against a federal ban. Again, I'm not, I don't support the practice, but if it has to be banned, let it be done at the state level. Same as with murder, same as with carjackings, that you know, this, that, and the other. Those crimes are better, are better handled by a state, by the state, by the state local governments, rather than having a overarching, um, having an overarching federal presence on the situation. So I would say that Trump, he made, he, I would say he's making, a, I would say he's 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 make, he made the right call by not announcing a support for a federal ban, even though, even though I was, I don't want the whole, I don't want it done in the first place. It's best off. This is a matter, this is a matter of his. I, I believe is best handled by the individual states. Let the states they're gonna they're gonna want they're gonna keep that practice going. Let them suffer. Uh, and let the states that aren't that you know that want to severely limit or totally out or totally abolish it. Let them go through with that mission. But it doesn't need to be something that's handled by the federal government. Uh, the federal government is big is is too big as is as it as is. I can't imagine how much bigger it would have to get if we were to have to. Uh, if I have to enforce a, a enforce a nationwide ban on abortion, I don't think we I don't think we want to open that can of worms. Uh, leave, that's something that's best left best left to the states, per the Tenth Amendment. But that's that's what I would do is share my thoughts um, on the situation. Like I guess I know that there are a lot of conservative commentators who are pissed off about the stance that Trump took, but I think it was a I, I do think it was a it was a it was the right decision for a long term win because you know what I mean. I get it. You want you want to come out strong against something that's so grisly, but you don't want to give hoes the thought that they can actually have they can actually fight back. Now let them stay. Let hoes stay mad, but let them stay. Let them stay demoralized. But let them stay help. Let them stay helpless in their mind, and let them stay home. Come vote. Come 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 the day to come the voting time. Um, come the voting time approaching. But that's all I want to do. So I want to share my thoughts on the matter. Please tell me what you think. Think it's the right idea. It's the wrong idea. Please share your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. My nose is stuffed up. If, uh, if you want to help out with the channel, go to my YouTube homepage. Look for the PayPal link and the Cash App link. All donation amounts are appreciated. Any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I say I can do to address them. But that's my video. Uh, Trump, abortion, and conservative outrage. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. Stay strapped. And God bless.